it was go look it up it's really really interesting i was very happy myself to to have run across this and that brings us to the dum d dum d dum d of the day fox six now students suspended for saying bless you after classmates sneezed <sighs> i'm gonna go this is the link here i'm gonna go directly to the link it says that they did this because it was disrupting the class to say bless you every time someone sneezed. That it's not a religious issue. But if you listen to what the teacher actually said, you could argue that it is a religious issue because this isn't the first time that it's happened that this particular teacher has gone after religious freedom. Dyer County, Tennessee, a young girl who claims that she was standing up for her religious beliefs in the classroom was suspended after breaking a class rule that saying bless you after a classmate sneezed. Now again, if she was being a brat and saying bless you, bless you, bless you, and the person who had an allergy attack and just to be um, disruptive, there are things you can do that do not involve suspension. That's red flag number one. When Dyer County High School senior Kendra Turner said bless you to her classmates, she says her teacher told her that that was for church. Red flag number two that this is not just about being disruptive. She said that we're not going to have godly speaking in her class, and that's when I said we have a constitutional right, said Turner. She at no point until this power keg blew up insinuated that this was about class uh, disrupting a class. It sounds like the student did it once, possibly after a series of sneezes is my guess. Turner said uh, when she defended her actions, she was told to see an administrator. She says she finished her class period in in-school suspension. When I was in in-school suspension, all that ever did was get you put way behind. They used to give you suspension for being late for class. And you couldn't, you couldn't possibly be on time for class the way the school was set up. Uh, McKinley High School, look it up. So, yeah, I understand all about in-school suspension from uh, the dark ages when I was there. Students sent WMC Action 5 News Mike Clark a photo of the teacher's whiteboard that lists bless you and other expressions that are banned as part of class rules. It sparked discussion with Turner's youth pastor, Becky Weingartner, last week at church. Red flag number four. This was mentioned a week ago. There are several students that were talking about this particular faculty member. There was very demeaning to them in regard to their faith, Pastor Becky Weingartner said. Turner's parents say the school leaders claim the outburst was a classroom distraction and that she shouted bless you from across the room. Oh, well, that explains why you demeaned her religion for a week. This was something that had come up previously in the last few weeks just since the beginning of the school year, and I shared with all those students what their rights were, added Weingartner. So she defines what your rights are. Mrs. Uh, this is God there. No. Uh, don't listen to the pastor. No, listen to your teacher. Wine Gardner seems like a real hero here, by the way. Turner's family met with school leaders Tuesday. They say that the teacher claimed Turner was being disruptive and aggressive. Some classmates showed support Tuesday by wearing handmade Bless You t-shirts. God bless each and every one of them. Turner said she doesn't want trouble for her teacher, but says she will stand up for her faith. Wonderful. It's all right to defend God, and it's our constitutional right, because we have a freedom of religion and a freedom of speech, said Turner. At least somebody was paying attention in school. She's got a correct view. You've watched the correct views, and you can donate to the show. Help me make a better show. Thanks to the TSA, which I am going to file a report against, help me get another computer while I wait the six months for them to deny my claim. You can find more work from me at uh, themediaspeaks.com. Look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. And uh, like I said, every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. I do my best to give you the best news with facts and also give you my commentary on it. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Good night and bless you. Thanks.